Thanks a lot, kids. Now, this is Fitzgerald's in Berwyn, Illinois. Crook, you're a bar owner. You own Crook's Bar in Toronto. When you set that place up, what were you looking for? Well, the flavor of Chicago here and, and places like Fitzgerald's. Tonight, you have Coco Taylor here, right? Yep. All right, and she is one of the ladies of very rare commodity these days, a female blues singer, and, uh, well, I, for one, I'm going to have a good time, and I know you will, too, so let's go inside. Danny, i got a harp for you. All right, all right. Well, I don't know if they let me. I don't know, I don't know. How about it for the queen of the moon? The one and the Let's go, Coco Taylor! Hey, Coco Taylor! Hey, Coco Taylor! Hey, Coco Extraordinary, feminine, very feminine, my dear, blues singer and uh, performer and Mr. Bruce Iglauer of Alligator Records, uh, the one of the only real thriving blues labels in existence now in the world. Coco, you, you, you know the gospel experience. You know how hot that music can get in a, oh, in a Baptist yes. church on a Sunday morning. I sure do. Mm -hmm. You know, my daddy said everybody in his household got to go to this little Baptist church, and we did. So um, I really know what it's like, uh, you know, with the gospel, singing and going to church every Sunday. But there's a point there where, where gospel music crosses over and becomes blues. And, 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 well, some people have said that, you know, the gospel music is God's music and the blues, once you start doing the blues, it's the devil's music. Well, you well know, we know that's a little extreme. Right? Yes, well, that's what they say. And a lot of people ask me, um, you know, how was I... Uh, singing gospel, then all of a sudden, you know, I love blues. But to see, during the time I was going to church singing gospel, I love the blues and I love gospel too. So I don't know if you know it or not, but you know, gospel, I mean, blues music, all music come from the blues, you know. So it's just uh, another way around, that's all. Sure. And most of all, I like spreading a little joy around, making people happy with my music. And when somebody walk up and say, you know, you did something, that tune you did tonight, it really made my week, you know. Then this makes me feel good. I can go home and stick my chest out and feel like I really did something to inspire somebody. And, and uh, Bruce uh, Coco is doing that all around North America right now. Coco is it's a rare commodity. Well, there are a number of talented women blues singers, but I believe Coco is the only one right now who's leading her own band and traveling around the world singing blues. There are a number of women in the city who perhaps have that potential, but Coco's the one who's gone out and done it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, you do a song uh, called Hey Bartender. Oh, uh, yes. You? Well, I, uh, I was just wondering what, what key you, you did yeah. that in. Oh, I, I do that in the key of E. Now, if, if uh, a guy like me were to want to uh, perhaps... do it with me. Yeah. I, I love it. talking about the new generation of blues people. I saw a blues child up here. Yeah. I don't think we got anything to worry about. Yeah, well, I tell you what, that's my grandson. And between me and my grandson, we're going to keep the blues alive. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And besides me and him, I'm counting on you. I'm going to try. And all, all right. these people here. You love the blues, the blues will love you here in Berwyn, Illinois at Fitzgerald's Earl this evening. Dan, I think we're going to try a little something here. I hope you'll like it. Anything you want, I, I will serve you, madam. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to do it for everybody out there. Me and Dan talking about, hey! Barton.